Good morning. We're coming to you from snowy Alabama. Those are two words that don't go together ever, but it happened this year. We 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 drew a bad card or something. <laughs> no, we we are really are lucky. And I'm sorry if you hear something in the background. That's our little space heater going. That's what's keeping me happy currently. So it it has to be on. Um, but yeah, it snowed. What three? We're on day three now. It snowed it's Monday. Monday. Today's Wednesday. No, it started snowing Sunday night. <clears throat> Sunday, Sunday evening. afternoon. Yeah. Evening. Snowed the big. Ah, we're in Alabama, so give us a break. It snowed the biggest flakes I think I've ever seen. They were at seen. least this big around. Yep. And um, <laughs> they really were probably about. They looked out the window probably about that big. Yeah, it was like almost golf ball size. Huge. If it was raining, it would have been pouring. <laughs> yeah. Well, it did. It did rain a little bit after that, like yeah, sleet. sleet. It was pretty heavy. But anyway, so we are in a winter wonderland, and we're kind of over we're it. We're in icy winter wonderland. <laughs> we're over it. Um, everything is shut down, basically, around here. It's a beautiful day. The sun's shining. Well, yeah. the sun was shining yesterday, too. But it's only in the teens. I think it might get up to 30. I doubt it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to get up to 30. So we don't know how to deal with that. Like, it's it's an old joke, we know, but it's the truth. We don't know how to deal with, nope. with we don't, this cold weather. We, we don't, don't like it. We don't have the equipment, like the snow plows and the salt trucks. and Patients the, uh, don't have it. Yeah. So anyway, so this morning I got my coffee. It's present and accounted for. Matt's overalls are present and accounted for. I think it's cold. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna move on um so we thought it would be a good time to just update you on what's been going on um because we have been busy we have been busy like we we really went into this year with the goal the hope that we would do one of these videos a week but last week we just got in here and started making wax yep. and we have not let up not let up so we are almost done we have, you know, a few more things to pour. I have about half of the roasted pine cone samplers to finish up, but then we're done and we can start packing. So, yeah. and we had originally said we'd ship once a week, but we didn't anticipate ice storm yeah. 2024 coming in. So about Wednesday or Thursday of last week, I think we were like, yeah, we're not going to ship because it's Something, just going to get held up somewhere. It's just going to get held up somewhere. If not here, then, you know, the main hub in Alabama or, you know, somewhere else where it was in transition. And I just thought it might not be a good idea to ship right now. Yeah. So he made that decision and I agreed with it because once I get in that <clears> mode where I'm making, I'm like, I, I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going, yeah. keep going, keep going. And we were thinking about shipping some this week, but all the... I don't fuck. we haven't gotten mail since Saturday so yeah and <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's if... coming anytime this week because we're uh -huh. supposed to get more freezing rain tomorrow yeah so yeah so mail mail shipping's not happening to this week but yeah. making is oh yeah yeah as we're... soon as it gets warm enough for us to be able to cut the pots on and stuff because they kind of have us under a curtailment yeah. is that what it's called I think so we're I like not that supposed word. to yeah. I like that word. That's a good word. So, we're trying to be mindful of that because we like power. We like power a lot. So, anyway, we just thought we'd update you, tell you a little bit about what's going on. Um, we did go outside and play in the snow yesterday. The icy snow, yes. The icy snow. So, little man got to get out and experience his first real snow. We've had snow before, but he was so young. So, we uh, this time around, I think we got five-ish inches of snow mm -hmm. and then once it stopped snow and it started sleeting so that five inches of snow the top i think he little man was picking it up yesterday and it was about an yeah. inch thick of, it was really thick. of iced snow he was just throwing it up in the air when it would land on the top of the snow where nobody has walked it would just explode mm -hmm. like the the snow wouldn't break but the part that he threw it would just explode and cowboy would eat it yeah. Finally had to stop that game. <laughs> yeah. Cowboy didn't know when to stop. 
So, but yeah, he had fun. I decided I never want to see snow again because it was cold, yeah. so cold. And yeah, over it. Um, but otherwise, I think that's all that's been going on outside of wax. Well, Pretty much. outside of wax, we've been looking at properties elsewhere in warmer climates. <laughs> We're revealing that. <laughs> We have family that watch. <laughs> they're going to be like, they're moving. I'm sure they're looking at property, our houses in warmer climates too. <laughs> <laughs> we have decided we need to winter somewhere warmer. Yeah. Because, man, we're just, not, we're just not built for this. Yeah. Winter's great. The temperature, because there's no bugs. It's just that when this We still have bugs, happens, though. Does anyone else have ladybugs in the house? We have ladybugs. Yeah. And a stink bug came out from somewhere the other day. Um, Did you get him? Yeah. Okay, good. I don't want him still wandering around to surprise me when I least expect it. All right, so let's talk. Let's talk wax. Let's talk what we've been doing. Uh, pouring like crazy. Mm-hmm. So we'll have to show you the walls. You know, we always have to show you the walls. They are full, and we're not done yet. So. We're kind of wondering where we're going to put things. Yeah, we, we need to um, bag up some wax this morning. I'm really unsure of where it's going to hang. Yeah. I know I see one spot right there, three spots right there, but that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. But that's okay. That's a good problem to have. I'm okay with that problem. Thank you, Lord. Um, so we got we lots of wax. We have to start packing orders today. But then if we do that, we have to take up all the molds and... So trash right. and stuff doesn't get in it. That's true. Decisions, decisions. Yep. Anyway, so that's what we've been doing. Um, <laughs> like I said, we're almost done. We really are. Um, we've got a few more to make. I am loving these scents. Like, I love this list from this month. These were really fun to make. I'm trying to see... Because especially yesterday, there were a lot that I was just like... Man, I love this so much. Cashmere Woods is one. Um, it's icy vanilla woods and cocoa butter cashmere. I love it. It was really, really good. Um, Paulo Frosted Sugar Cookies. That one's a good one. I love that one. Which one's your favorite? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know. Pistachio. The Pistachio Vanilla Cream Pie. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Is it good? It really is. So I've never really been a huge pistachio fan. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just I didn't think that much about it. I, I'm a believer now. Hmm? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So nice. I've been thinking of pistachio blends. Maybe we need a sampler in the future. Let me know what you think about that. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of good, a lot of good we've blends. We've got some of the samplers made. Yeah, well, we've got... A handful. We've got all of the strawberry pound cake made. All of That's the all of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All of the favorites are made, but I had made a lot of roasted pine cone before we got started. Like, before we actually had the sale, I was just kind of working ahead. And I kind of, I was, I was like, I don't think I want to make any more because right. that would probably be too many. <clears throat> and now we have to make that many as many as I made plus some thank to you. finish it up thank you so much the most popular sampler we've ever had by far by far um so I'll try not to wait too long to bring those back into full sizes so we can go ahead and get those in the rotation because they're good <laughs> they're really good I really enjoy them so I think y'all are gonna like them a lot um I'm just looking around oh we need to put we have all of our favorite sampler blends hanging up on the wall over here. We need to put those in bags today. We could do that oh, okay. if we can't do a lot of pouring. That would open the power. up some hanging, yeah. hanging spots. That would open up a lot. So we can do that. Um, but yeah. Oh, one hold up though. One, one hold up though mm -hmm. is um, our small sampler bags. We ran out because when I did the ordering, I wasn't planning on doing the favorite sampler at that time. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we ended up going through a lot more than I thought we would. And I don't know when they're going to be delivered. It's just been delayed and delayed and yeah. delayed because of the weather. So kind of waiting on that. But 
We'll get there. Maybe I need to go get the tractor and scrape our road so that the the delivery UPS thing. is not coming anywhere near. <laughs> it, it's not even our road that's the problem. It's the 15 roads in between. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. They're not coming anywhere around us. Much less those I don't drivers getting to mm -hmm. there to get in their vehicle to bring yeah. stuff to us. I don't blame them at all. Yeah. That is one thing I am so thankful for. I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm so thankful for with having this business and with us both being able to work in it, but we don't have to get out and go mm. in this kind of weather. Yep. Because when we were both working, I mean, I worked at a university, so, you know, those are probably going to close if the weather yep. is bad. So it wasn't really a problem for me, but you doing the work you did, like in the utilities industry, yeah. you had to go. Yeah. So I'm really, really thankful <clears throat> that we get to to be home and just ride it out, you know, even if it's inconvenient in a small way sure. to us, we're, we're really blessed that it's not a bigger inconvenience. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, oh, okay, so here's what I really wanted to talk about, the custom spots. Okay. Okay. Tell them. Okay. Well, I've already told you, but mm -hmm. I figure you might have forgotten already. So I was telling you again. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, no. So we have been really talking about the custom spots. Um, we did a trial run in December. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. I hope everyone who participated, number one, thank you so much for helping me. Um, I mean, it was an order. Like, y y they put in order. So I'm really grateful to that. Um, but they helped me test the process. And then, you know, I was able to kind of see how everything would work from you know, the form to the shipping and, and all of that. Um, so that was a lot of fun. And it was fun to get to make new blends and that sort of thing. So it was, it went really, really well. So I think we're gonna try to start it up again in February. But this is the process we're gonna follow right now because we're still new to the monthly pre-orders and so we don't know what those are gonna look like every single month. January was amazing. It was wonderful. February, I don't know what that'll look like. We've got a lot of popular blends and samplers going to be offered. The pretzel, beach marshmallow, used to be beach nights. Um, the donut shop and Polo sampler is coming out. Um, so the um, we'll have that sampler. We'll have the beach marshmallow pretzel samplers, but those full size blends will be offered of the beach marshmallow and pretzel. I hope that'll make sense. Um, so those will be offered. So we've got a lot coming up in February. I don't know what that'll look like. So I think we'll try to do, we'll start the custom spots up in February. So we're going to start probably with five spots. I think that's a good number to start with. And how this is going to work is I'm going to put out a call, um, Facebook, Instagram, email, everything with a link to a Google form. And this is where you will sign up to reserve your custom spot, okay? And so how we will do this is it will be first come, first serve, basically. So in February, we'll have five spots. The first five people will get those spots in February. And then March, we'll evaluate and say, okay, can we do five spots? Can we do 10 spots? What do we want to do? What do we want to try? Can we do two spots? Yeah, whatever that looks like. And then we'll let the next group of people know and so we'll just we'll keep doing that hopefully at some point we'll be able to offer more but we just we got to figure out how these monthly pre-orders are going but it is something that we really want to get started because it was a lot of fun and we know that you have so many ideas and things that you want and it's hard to um it's hard to put you guys have so many requests and I want to do them all so bad <laughs> this is so bad so this is just another way that you can get some of your requests done that I may not be able to fit into a list at least that month that coming mm -hmm. month or whatever so I think that's how we're gonna work it we're going to try to make it as easy on you so we'll have our monthly sale and we will let you know before the monthly sale hey this is your month you're up this month yeah. So that way you're not placing a monthly order and then we're like, oh, hey, by the way, you got a custom 
and then you you're, you're like well I don't really want to place two orders so we will let you know beforehand if you got a custom spot so you can whatever's in the monthly list you know you know you can order it with your custom order so I hope that all makes sense we will explain it many more times I'm sure just oh, yeah. to just to make sure it all makes sense to everyone and we'll also be working the process out more as we go yeah. ironing things out so <laughs> that's what we're thinking right now so probably that list or that form will be going out in the next week or so just so we can be kind of getting an idea of what the interest is yeah. and you know figuring out how to best incorporate it yeah. into our monthly sales yes are you excited about customs? Yes. I don't really do that much with them. I just bag them, pack them, put a shipping label on them. <laughs> yeah. And you're very good at it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll let we the people to, decide that. We may need to do something special with the packaging for the custom orders. I don't know. We'll okay. figure it out. If y'all have any ideas, let us know. Sounds good. So, yeah. I'm looking at a big box of strawberry musk down there. Like, it wouldn't even fit on the wall. There was so much strawberry musk ordered in January. Yep, that's a, put it in a box. good size box. And, a matter of fact, yeah, it's kind of, it's almost overflowing. Yeah. Good problems. Good problems. And it's still one of my favorites. Like, I think that was something I just made before a sale was ever even made in lavender and speckles and it was just something that i made and i still love it it's still yeah. one of my favorites pretty good pretty good yep so yeah anything got any, else you got anything you want me to smell so i can give you a review on it oh yes i want you to smell cotton candy laundry whoops sorry <gasps> he almost knocked the coffee over sorry what do you think about cotton candy laundry? Cotton candy laundry. Actually, I'm Strong the one. Strong laundry and cotton candy frosting. I'm the one that bagged these. Yes, you did? Right. What did you think of them? Eh. Dryer sheets. Dryer sheets. Yep. I can smell it from here. I love it. I love it. It is so good. I love laundry scents so much. But you get like a little bit of cake on the back side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness. Let's find one for you that you would really like. Oh, you need to try honey pear ice cream. Honey pear ice cream? Mm -hmm. It's right there. I think you might actually like that because there's just a little bit of cinnamon in it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of spice. You're Honey pear so ice cream. <laughs> Do you want to read the spiced honey pears blended with vanilla and sugar waffle cones and a hint of mac apple? Delicious. Okay, I get the spice and the apple, the mac apple. And then the pear. Yep. I know what I want you to smell next. What? That's really good. That's one of my favorites. No, it's the honey pear good. ice cream. Anything with honey pear in it is so good. Yeah. Loopy strawberries. No. Not doing <laughs> it. Come on, why not? Not doing it. Why? No, I can't. Okay, I'll smell it okay. just just for you. You can do it. I'm telling you, it's not as bad when you like smell it after it's set. I hope, hope y'all can see that. You want to read it? Strawberry pound cake blended with Fruit Loops and a touch of green apple. Fruit Loops. I think it's more than a touch. Oh, that is. <laughs> that is strong. Yeah, that Fruit Loops comes through. I will say this about Fruit Loops. Hey, I do get the green apple though. Mm hmm. Fruit Loops, when you are pouring it, it's a little rough. It's, oh, it's <laughs> it's a little rough. Powerful. You, you you're not sure you're. You think you might have made a mistake. 
but I think when it cure, when it sets, it's not as it's still strong. It's still strong, but mm. you 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 feel better with your choices. It's it's pretty good. And like I said, Loopy birthday cake is I love it. Yeah. I think it's a good one, and I like this one too. Ooh. He he can't even be in the same room when I pour fruit. No, loops. I can't. And we don't. That's the only two blends we have. Is that strawberry and the birthday cake? Those are the only two ones. Yeah. So we have our Fruit Loops. Yeah. I probably wouldn't do too many more. But anyways, okay. I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. So we're going to. Hopefully, it's warmed up enough that we can turn our pots on and get to making. We've got some molds to empty out and bag and. I guess we can put together some samplers. Yep, you gotta cl do some cleaning up too. Yeah. We didn't get too much cleanup done last night. Yeah. I think we need to do a little bit of rearranging. Yeah, that's true. Where we pour and stuff. So, productive day, even though it's cold. So, we hope you're staying warm wherever you are, and we will talk to you soon. God bless. <laughs>